come back, fellas. And guess what? I brought my coffee. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And of course, you guys already know what time it is. I love looking good and smelling amazing. So if you're a guy and you love looking your best every day, smelling your best every day, then this is probably going to be the channel for you. You probably want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click on that bell icon as well. That way when I release and upload future content to the channel, you won't miss out and you get notified. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite uh, niche brands. Well, becoming definitely one of my favorite niche brands, the house of Killian Paris, which used to be called by Killian, but for some reason I can't stop saying by Killian. So whichever way it comes out today, by Killian or Killian Paris, you know what I'm talking about. I love the fragrances from this house. Um, I love the fact that uh, when asked, Killian said that fragrances two ways, as a shield or as a weapon of seduction. I think I fall somewhere in the middle, but probably most people do. But we're going to talk about uh, the offerings from Guy Killing that I have in my collection. Really want to highlight my top 10, although I do have, uh, I think, 18 offerings from the house. I'll mention all 18, but really it's about my top 10. So if you guys want to hear about that, you already know the routine and how we get down over here. Keep it locked right here. I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list of fragrances. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each one because I don't want this video to run too long. So I'm just going to jump into, uh, again, give brief descriptions of each one, uh, why I like it as much as I do or don't, and then we'll move on. So I have 18 offerings, and right now, right now, I, and I don't dislike it, but my least favorite would probably be this one, and this one is called Imperial Tea. Uh, I think it just has two notes in this tea and jasmine. And I was asking questions about this fragrance because this, this one was released in 2014, if I'm not mistaken, and this bottle was from 2014. And I know sometimes if you have fragrances, uh, they continue upon how they're stored after a time, uh, some of the top notes can start to kind of uh, dissipate. And I'm wondering if that's what happened with this. I'm not 100% sure uh, because I smelled a sample of this a long time ago. but. First time I had a full bottle, and it smells really good once it hits the skin, but it's something about smelling from the bottle I'm not a big fan of. So anyway, right now the 18th spot will be Imperial Tea, followed by this one right here from the Asian Tales collection as well as Flower of Immortality. And um, has some very unique notes in this one. Carrot seeds is one of those notes, but I really like this once it gets on my skin as well. I'm not a big fan of the opening of it. And I think that's the thing with this as well as Imperial Tea. I'm not big fans of the opening of opening of those two fragrances, but once both of them do hit my skin, I start to really enjoy them. So they're not two fragrances that I dislike. Now that carrot, the carrot season this gives us kind of a, it's an earthy quality, and, and which is unique because there's a lot of florals going on in this fragrance as well. Um, again, that carrot seed is a very unique note and you get that a lot in the opening, especially when you're smelling it from the bottle. But anyway, it's not a bad fragrance at all. Again, just a, a little bit different. When I want fragrances, for the most part, when I'm wanting a nice floral, uh, Killian is typically not the house I look to for florals. But again, not a bad one. I definitely like it, but there's some bangers on this list. So this will be in the 17th spot right now. And next up again from the Asian Tales collection is Water Calligraphy. Now this one is really growing on me. I really, really like this one. It's fresh, clean, very vibrant fragrance. There's a, um, there's like a watery, I think, C note in this and I definitely picked that up. But I really like this one and that's where the, the whole water um, reference comes from. But man, I really like Water Calligraphy. This one is growing on me. If I did this list again uh, in a couple months, this one probably is gonna be higher. Don't have as much um, experience with this one as some of the others, but definitely growing on me. This is Water Calligraphy. Next up, we have this one, uh, again from the Asian Tales Collection, Bamboo Harmony. As you guys can see, a lot of the fresher scents from Killian, um, when I compare them to the other ones in this collection, them some of the darker, more sexier type fragrances. Um, it's not that these are bad at all, but I 
again, when I look to this house, I prefer the uh, darker, uh, sexier offerings from Killian. But again, this is definitely one of my favorites from the fresher offerings that I do have. Bamboo Harmony. It's a very, very, I think there's a tea note in it as well, bamboo. And um, again, just a really nice fragrance to wear when it's warm outside, especially in the springtime. Very soothing, relaxing scent. I like to wear this one out of the shower and things of that nature when I'm just lounging around. I like to look at Bamboo Harmony. Next up, we have this one, a very unique scent, Liaison's Dangerous. Again, very sexy scent. Now, it's funny, I read somebody say that this kind of smells like hair shampoo. And, and I can't, now I can't get that reference out of my head because it does. I remember when my wife used to uh, go to uh, the salon, when she would come home, that the, the, her hair would all, she would, I would always love the way her hair smelled. Like, gosh, her hair smells really good. And it kind of did remind me of this one right here. And, um, but I'm telling you again, this is one of the ones, this is like one of my secret weapons now, man. I like to wear this one because most guys are gonna say, of course, that they can't wear this because it's too feminine, but that's not my thing. I can definitely rock this and I've rocked it before and got a lot of positive attention because it's a very unique scent, I will say that. But it's one that I do like again, but when you have a list as fire as this one and offerings as good as the, the top 10, Fragrances like this are hard to crack that top 10, but definitely not a bad fragrance. This is Liaison's Dangerous. Dangerous. Um, the next one up on the list is the original Straight to Heaven. <clears throat> the original Straight to Heaven. Now, I do prefer the Straight to Heaven Extreme, although this is really good as well. Um, this particular batch that I have, <clears throat> uh, you get more of the cedar wood, I think, in the original Straight to Heaven versus when uh, the Straight to Heaven Extreme was released. They amped up that rum and the vanilla. Uh, this one, you get a little bit more of the cedar wood, but still a great fragrance. But again, the top 10 is so fire, just couldn't get in the top 10. Next up, <clears throat> we have this one, A Taste of Heaven. Now, this one is discontinued from what I understand as far as this presentation is concerned. Uh, this has the, uh, the green juice on the inside, the Incredible Hulk, right? And um, I really like this one, man. You got lavender and you got some vanilla. Those are the two main notes um, that you get with A Taste of Heaven. Um, I have smelled, smelled the uh, Caron, Um, Poron. Of course, I had to get that to compare it to this. Similar, but not exact. Definitely not the same. Uh, that one has a, I don't know. It's, it just doesn't really compare to this one. That has a little bit more of that. I get a little bit more of that kind of uh, aromatic lavender this one goes a little bit more in the gourmand direction for me but absolutely love this one again i'm glad to have this one in the collection uh in this particular presentation if they ever bring it back you know um which i'm not sure but i'm glad to have this one in my collection i do like it but again the top 10 couldn't crack the top 10. next up is this one right here um noir aphrodisiac Noir Aphrodisiac, and I, one word for this one right here, and that's chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Now, there is a fragrance that this reminds me of that I had prior to getting my hands on this that this reminds me a lot of. So if you guys have never put your nose on this one, if you've ever smelled uh, Bulgari Man in Black, it smells very similar to this. Minus now, it doesn't, Noir, um, now Bulgari Man in Black, you're not gonna get that chocolate. But once you get past the chocolate, once this fragrance really starts to die down and that chocolate starts to really blend in with the other notes of this fragrance, it does remind me a lot of Bulgari Man in Black. So just as a point of reference, if you never smell this one and you smell that, you'll have an idea of what this smells like. You'll throw in a big bar of chocolate. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into the top 10. Again, still not going to spend a lot of time on each, but I love all of these fragrances. Number 10 is this one right here, Back to Black. Back to Black. Now you know this list is gonna be straight fire when Back to Black is in at the 10th spot. <clears throat> the only reason it comes in at number 10, it's sexy, it's seductive, but with that honey note, is a very, very animalic honey note to me. And if you don't really like honey, or the thing for me is it, I find it hard to find many occasions to wear this one. So it's not as versatile as some of the other scents on the list. And that's really my, my main quarrel with this particular fragrance, but it smells great. I haven't smelled anything else like it. But again, I just, 
don't have many, as many occasions that I can really put this one on uh, because it's that honey note is that honey note is so concentrated. So, but of course, good nonetheless. You know, back to black comes in at the tenth spot, and this is gonna be a fire list. So. In the ninth spot, we have this one right here, Rolling in Love, which is probably my favorite bottle from the collection. Of course, you guys know I love red. Shout out to the noops. But, man, you talk about white florals and almond. That's really what you get in this fragrance. I love it. Um, great fragrance to wear, and really all year round, really, you can get away with wearing this in the way it's, uh, it's composed. But uh, this one comes in at the ninth spot. This is Rolling in Love. And coming in at the A spot, the fragrance that took the world by storm about two years ago, which was Love Don't Be Shy. Love Don't Be Shy. And I love this one as well. It has that marshmallow and orange blossom. And uh, I love hearing the story about this one. Uh, Killian says, I think Khalees Baker um, is the perfumer for this one. And I think um, he talked about a story where he was at her house and he was, she was, uh, making a dessert for her family and the dessert had orange blossom as well as uh, marshmallow in it and that's where the idea came from for this particular fragrance love don't be shy so it's really sweet very dessert like fragrance and um, a couple years ago when it was said that rihanna was wearing this fragrance this thing sold out and you couldn't find this anywhere now it has come back in a different presentation but i'm glad to have this one the original uh, in my collection because I'm just a fan of the uh, the uh, older bottles. I'm a fan of the original bottles and I love this one right here. This is like a, almost like a dark red or plum colored juice almost. I love this stuff. Love Don't Be Shy. And next up we have this one right here which is Intoxicated. Intoxicated, I love this one, I love the coffee in it. A lot of people compare this to the original Amen and I get the comparison, but this one, I do like this one a lot better than I like Amen. They they don't have that tar note, that tar note is missing from this one, which is great for me because I, that's one of the things that made that fragrance very challenging initially. Um, and of course that goes in more of a, of a patchouli type dry down where versus this one right here. You just get more of that kind of fresh, uh, freshly brewed coffee that I get from Intoxicated, and I absolutely love this stuff, man. And again, in most people's collection, this is gonna be a lot higher. We really have some bangers on this list, and that's why it only comes in at the seventh spot. This is Intoxicated. And coming in at the sixth spot for me, this is probably gonna surprise some people because I know there's a lot of folks that really love this one, but I have five others that I like better than this one, and this one is Straight to Heaven Extreme. Straight to Heaven Extreme. I talked to you guys earlier about the original Straight to Heaven. And uh, like I said, this one they amped up the rum and the vanilla. And I love that. It makes it a little bit more of a gourmand. And I love gourmands. But man, this stuff is boozy and it's sexy and it's seductive. Which, of course, are characteristics of a fragrance that I generally enjoy. And um, this one is no different, man. But again, I just have five others that personally for me, I just like better than this one, but a great fragrance nonetheless. Coming in at the sixth spot for me, this is Straight to Heaven Extreme. And coming in at the fifth spot, this is the one for me once I got in the collection that knocked Straight to Heaven Extreme out of the top five, is Vodka on the Rocks. And I absolutely adore this fragrance right here, man. I love hearing the story about um, how he used the aldehydes to give off the impression of vodka actually cooling on ice cubes and man captured it so well in the bottle this is the uh the one fresh scent from killing that i absolutely adore and of course that's why it's in the top five um, this is one honestly to me this is one you could wear year round this is signature scent worthy right here and I love this stuff. This is Vodka on the Rocks. Coming in at the fourth spot for me, this one right here is Apple Brandy. Apple Brandy, Apple Brandy. Man, this stuff is so good. I'm finally um, happy that I have this in the collection. It took me a while to get it. Uh, this is the newer presentation with the gold cap. 
Um, I talked about this fragrance before and I took the gold cap off and put a black one on because I really like that, as I said, the older presentations of this stuff. But nonetheless, the juice is the same. Of course, it, you get the, the boozy accords uh, from the brandy uh, and you get the, uh, the apple. Now, a lot of people say that this one smells like uh, single malt and there are some similarities, but they're definitely way different. Um, to me, this is a more, it's a lot drier fragrance. Um, than single malt. But nonetheless, it's one that I love and enjoy thoroughly. Coming in at the fourth spot here, this one is Apple Brandy. And speaking of that fragrance, coming in at the third spot for me is this one right here, Single Malt. Single Malt, man, I got this one last year on my birthday and I absolutely uh, fell in love with this scent, man. It is just such a unique scent. It's so well blended, so well crafted. Of course, just like the other fragrances on this list, man, but this one is just very, very special to me. Um, again, not just because it smells great, but because I did get it last year on my 40th birthday. And um, so it's always gonna have a special place in my heart. But it, I love the fact that outside of the sentimental stuff, it just is a freaking kick behind amazing fragrance right here. And I love rocking this juice. I'm so happy that the fall season is right around the corner so I can rock this stuff. Coming in at the third spot, this one is single malt. All right, guys, we are down to the top two. And coming in at the two spot is this one right here, Sacred Wood. Two notes, sandalwood and some type of milky accord. Although I seemingly pick up another woody uh, vibe from this one, not sure what it may be coming from or whatever that, that milky accord may consist of. But man, I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I told the story before and I'll tell it again. Uh, Adele, thank you so much for helping me uh, get this gem in my collection because it was so hard to get it. I mean, it's, it's so crazy to me to think about the irony of the name of this fragrance being Sacred Wood and it's almost become sacred uh, because so many people want to get their hands on this bottle and it's so hard to get. And uh, I missed out on a, um, a uh, offering when she posted this fragrance in a fragrance group and I, I, I wrote her and I said I felt literally felt sick because I wanted this fragrance so badly for so long and could not get my hands on it and needless to say three days later she hit me back and said she had one for me um, she ships it from Italy so it took a little while to get to me but it's all been worth it this is a sacred fragrance it's my number two favorite Killian and this one is sacred work all right guys, and coming in at the number one spot, anyone that's been a fan for this channel for any amount of time knows what this fragrance is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill the suspense, it's Black Phantom. My white chocolate mochaccino in a bottle. Absolutely my favorite scent from the House of By Killing. It could potentially be my favorite scent in my entire collection. And it's just that good of a scent to me, man. I love it. Um, it has everything that I want in a fragrance. It has performance, it smells great. It's gourmand, it's a little bit fresh, it's sexy, it's everything. My number one by killing fragrance goes to Black Phantom. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video on my top 10 fragrances from the House of By Killian. I appreciate you watching this video because, of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me taking the time to watch this video, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your main man Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.